Ah, the endless debate of who is the best basketball player of all time. Everyone has their own opinion. Most people and most of the media think that Michael Jordan is the best of all time. For the last 5 years or so, LeBron James fans like myself have been saying that LeBron might be better because he's a better all around talent. Players from the 70s and 80s think that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was the greatest and who could blame them? Kareem is a 6 time champion, the leading scorer in NBA history and was equipped with the most unstoppable shot ever. Kareem himself though on multiple occasions has said that the best player he has seen is Oscar Robertson and boy was Oscar Robertson good in his prime. Basically every week it's someone else who could be the best player ever. But why we forget about a man who has more rings than fingers? Why we forget about a man who won almost twice as much as Michael Jordan? Hello people, this is Purple Prince and today I want to make my case for Bill Russell as the greatest basketball player ever. First of all, let's get this out of the way. One of the arguments against the players from 60s and early 70s is that there was just no competition. There weren't a lot of professionals and players in general weren't as strong and athletic. Well, that's not Bill Russell's fault. And I would like to see Michael Jordan guard Will Chamberlain. Bill Russell did that. In regular season both legends met 94 times and Bill Russell came a winner in 57 games of them. Sure, Chamberlain still averaged 30 points and 28 rebounds, but I dare you to name me any player who could have stopped Chamberlain in his prime. Chamberlain got his stats, but when it came to winning, it was Bill Russell who came through. In playoffs, both met 49 times and once again it was Bill Russell who won 29 of those contests. Both were great, but when it came to championships, Russell won a lot more. In an interview, Will Chamberlain himself acknowledged that if he was in the place of Bill Russell, they probably wouldn't win as much because he would take away from players like Bob Cousy. Now that's great respect right there. Continuing my argument, one thing people take into account mostly when comparing LeBron to Jordan is the count of rings. Jordan has 6, LeBron has 3, and 6 is more than 3. Well, the last time I checked, 11 is more than 6. In fact, it's a lot more. Bill Russell won 11 times during his 13 year career. That means that he was a winner 85% of his career. In comparison, Jordan won 6 in his 15 seasons, so he was a winner 40% of his career. Yes, when Jordan went to finals, he got the job done. But Bill Russell did the job just as well and went to finals a lot more. Russell went to the finals in 12 of his 13 seasons and won 11 of them. Nobody beats that. I don't want to compare stats because those were different eras and both players played different roles and positions. Michael Jordan obviously scored more points, Bill Russell grabbed more rebounds. No reason to get deeper. The clutch gene? Well, everyone always say how clutch Jordan was, especially when it came to NBA Finals. But let's keep in mind that for a lot of years he couldn't get past Larry Bird and Detroit Pistons and only towards the end of career of both superstars, Michael Jordan started to really gain control of the East and winning. Bill Russell was facing Prime Chamberlain, Jerry Lucas, Oscar Robertson and didn't have any problems getting through them to the finals. So in a way, I think this goes into Russell's favor. So your next argument might be that Bill Russell had so many Hall of Famers in his team. Well, let's look at the teams now and how they did without Russell and Jordan. In 1962, Bill Russell sat out 4 straight games and the Boston Celtics went 0 for 4. And all other players like Kuzi, Sharman and Coach Orbach were there. In 1969, Bill Russell missed 5 games and Boston went 0-5 with Sam Jones, John Havlicek and other Hall of Famers, but without Russell, they couldn't win. When Bill Russell retired, Boston Celtics went from a 48-win team to a 34-win team. And no, other Hall of Famers still were on the team. When Russell retired, Boston still had Havlicek, Sanders, Jojo White and Howell, yet they still were 14 games worse. When Michael Jordan retired in 1994, Bulls went down from 57 wins to 55 wins. That's only a two game drop. Another thing we have to take into an account is that Bill Russell won his last two championships as a player slash coach, which is amazing. Not only he needed to perform on the court, but he also needed to coach a team. Could Michael Jordan coach a team to a championship nevertheless while playing on it? Maybe. Another point, the biggest nemesis for Bill Russell was obviously Will Chamberlain. Who was the nemesis of Michael Jordan? You can't really name anyone. Dominique Wilkins? 
Isaiah Thomas. None of these players was Will Chamberlain, yet somehow all the greatness Will Chamberlain brought wasn't enough to stop Russell from winning 11 championships. One big psychological aspect nobody considers was the time both guys played. It was much harder for Russell to maintain his focus on the game because at those times Russell faced a lot of racism. He was a public figure in Boston and brought a lot of success to the city, yet he was still insulted in ways we can't imagine nowadays. He was constantly affected by the political stuff and all the bad stuff that was going on at the time, yet he somehow always won. Jordan was pretty much the most beloved man in America. He never had to face these issues. You might say that Jordan could have handled it just as well as Bill Russell, but we'll never know. And it was a lot easier for other NBA players after Russell, along with other sports legends, paved the way. Even Michael Jordan's coach Phil Jackson said he would take Bill Russell over Jordan. And I know Phil Jackson has said a lot of ridiculous stuff over the years, but I side with him on this one. The ultimate goal is to win championships, and Russell did that while battling with all the insults and racism that existed at the time. And it's not like he was just lucky to be on a good team. Bill Russell made Boston Celtics good. His defensive presence, personality, and how much he gave besides ridiculous rebounding numbers is so underrated. What do you think guys? Who is the greatest of all time for you? Do you agree that Bill Russell was better than Michael Jordan? Leave a comment below, like this video, and subscribe for future NBA content. This was Purple Prince, and I'm out.